Let's move on to some domestic issues. We we'll start with the video. Hello, Mr. Cameron. Uh, my name is Neil Garrett. And my question to you is this: um, You and your government seem uh, to be rather intent on making um, an all-out assault on public services in this country and inflicting a level of cuts on uh, the poor and vulnerable members of our society, um, all the while ignoring a rather large elephant uh, in the room, um, which is the obscene profits that the financial sector are making and the complete lack of taxes that they're paying this country. So in that case, why are you letting the um, banking sector get away with this behaviour and why are you inflicting uh, this level of cuts and damage on our society and particularly on the poor people in our society? Well, let me, let me answer Neil very directly. First of all, what he says about our assault on public services is just quite simply wrong. If you take the most important public service of all, the National Health Service, we are not cutting that service, we are increasing spending on that service. And that is the service that poor and vulnerable people depend on uh, more than anything else. So first of all, I completely reject the premise of his question. The question he asked, why are we having to make cuts at all? Well, it was because of the complete and utter mess the economy was left in by the last Labour government, who left us with the biggest budget deficit anywhere in the developed world. People sometimes talk about uh, the problems faced by Greece or by Portugal. Our budget deficit, uh, when I became Prime Minister, was bigger than the one in Greece, bigger than the one in Portugal. It is Labour's mess that we're having to clear up, and that does mean making some spending reductions. Now, as for his question about taxing the banks, unlike the last Labour government that refused to act before other countries acted, we have introduced a bank levy that will raise uh, over £10 billion in this Parliament. So under our arrangements with the banks, the banks will pay more in tax, uh, they will m do more lending, particularly to small businesses, and they will have a smaller bonus pool this year. Those are achievements that the last Labour government completely failed to achieve. Now, it is difficult making these spending reductions, and we are trying to do it in as fair way as possible. And if you look at our budget and our spending round, it's actually the better off in our country who will pay more, both in cash terms and as a percentage of their income, uh, in, or in order to clean up the mess that we were left by so Labour. So on the, on the premise of what Neil was saying about the banks though, you feel that the banks are quote unquote being punished enough. He was, he was basically think, saying the banks should be punished. Are you saying that they well, are being punished I enough? I want them to pay more in tax. They will pay more in tax. Uh, but the point I make is this. We do need an economic recovery and to get a recovery you need banks to lend money. So if you have a choice in politics, you can go on and on and on about punishing the banks or you can do what we've done which is actually get more tax out of them, get more revenue out of them so they'll be paying more into the Exchequer and at the same time we've got them lending more money to business. That's what we want.